Was Gusios and Kerbagram in order to feed on the air? Yes. That's how the hunting blades managed to trap him in their reverse barrier. So is that what you and Baal were doing there, Judy? Did you go to save Gusios? Not originally. We went there to destroy the Hermes Blastia, creating the reverse barrier. Besides, in the end I was unable to save Gusios. He wasn't allowed to decide whether he was for or against becoming a spirit. It's not your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. We won't let his sacrifice be for nothing. We'll use the spirits well and defeat the Autophagos. Right. Yes. Baul says that aside from spirit conversion, he will do everything in his power to aid us. I'm glad he's on our side. So this is Reloise? Yes, Baul says it is. But I don't see any Aircrene or Entelikea. Looks like we can take this path down. It's a long way down. Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold. Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. Uh, that's not true! Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like that's all we can do. Hey, why don't we just ride Baul all the way to the bottom? No, it's narrow, and the wind is all over the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a river way down at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. Ah, the power of nature. Who knows how long it took to make this? Whoa! I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> well, just make sure just make you don't sure slip, you and fall. slip and fall.
What'd we do in this journey without Repeat's help? How come Repeat's so strong, anyway? <laughs> he trained hard in order to capture the spot of Big Boss. What do you mean, capture the spot of Big Boss? <laughs> it was a battle to defeat the Little Wolves, the leaders of all the dogs and cats in the capital. Th they had a leader? They were the former Big Bosses. They oppressed the cats and dogs, and even harmed humans. Um... I'm really interested in hearing more, but... Y yeah if it's a long story, maybe you could tell us when we have more time? Oh well, your loss. Long story short, Repeat fought for the dogs and cats, and now he's their boss. So he got stronger to protect the ones he cared about. And the reason he's fighting now is also to protect the people he cares about, right? Yeah, yeah.
Hang on. This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. Someone's coming! Person? Here? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. Many thanks for rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochea here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating an Antilochea through an Apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why. Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself. All to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Autophagos will destroy the world. Bellius understood. She became Undine and is lending us her power. Pharaoh as well. He was reborn as a freak. The proper form of Terca Lumeres is one in which all living things, including Entelikea, live in their natural state. You understand that as well. But what about Gusios? He was trying to control the air. But then he took too much and became really dangerous. Yeah. I don't want to think what would have happened if we hadn't reincarnated him as Gnome. Indeed. Humans in Entelikea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you, so do not interfere with me. Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let me go ask him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well, I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Autophagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do, we have to get all the spirits first. Focus on that for now.
So this is the oldest spring in the world. It's so quiet. The air is so clear. It feels holy. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so... at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but... it is so peaceful. Watch it! That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. You came. Hey, that's... We met you at the castle, didn't we? Chroma, was it? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you. Or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What do you... Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans, but neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, maybe. If he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength! Here she comes!
you cannot way. defeat me, then there's no point in facing Duke. Man, you can just feel the power! Guess that's what we get for taking on an Antilochia. Come on, guys. Stay sharp. I'm not finished with you yet, so bring it! This is my wager. Will you win or will I? Nothing more than that. Come, we might look weak, but fate is on our side.
We will do as you requested. Leave the rest to us. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it. It worked! She's sleeping. It's the same as with Gnome. A new comrade has been born. One who controls the winds. At times calm, at times violent. She is not taken by air as was Gnome. She should wake before long. Thank you, Undine. Chroma did say she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. This sure is a lonely place. It's just rocks and mountains, and the wind just sounds so lonely. It feels more desolate the longer we're here. Let's finish up here and get out soon. But the sun is so warm and feels so nice. Well, aren't you optimistic? Oh? But this is the perfect time for a picnic. Maybe we are lucky to have sunshine. I mean, it looks like there could be a sandstorm any moment. I guess we were letting the atmosphere get to us. Come on, it's not so bad. Yes, let's keep going. They sure cheered up quick. Way up. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Good morning, lass. Guess she's awake. Um. So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No. I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. 
Well... How about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intellicaea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intellicaea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple but efficient. Hattie? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochia advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans, and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Autophagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Ba'ul can reach you now. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. We managed to get the four elemental spirits! Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Autophagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Tergalumarais. Even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei, but we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the Great Evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand! They're strong enough to take a changing world! Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. What are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Noor? 
It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmied Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go.